everybody. Today we are going to be making an absolutely beautiful soap. We are going to be making a breast milk soap. This is actually for my daughter. It will not be for sale. Uh, so let's get going. I've never made one of these on this channel. So this is going to be a little bit of fun. Let's go and make some soap for my beautiful daughter, Emily. Now to make this soap, everyone, I have already divided up all of my oils. So inside my container here, we will take off the wrap, which I've got just sitting on top. I have already measured up the oils. Now in here, it's looking very green, I know. And that's because we are using an avocado oil in here. And the lye is going to be made up of 100% breast milk. And of course, the sodium hydroxide, which is the form of lye. So that's what we're going to be doing today. As we go through this, I'll give you the recipe as well. And um, just remember, things like breast milk, you can't actually sell that uh, because you know, that is actually a body fluid. So please don't go and, um, you know, just get some breast milk and make soap and sell it. You cannot do that, but you can make it for the person whose breast milk it is. And that's what I'm doing today. So this will not be sold. It is for my beautiful daughter, Emily, uh, because my little grandson, Charlie, he is 12 weeks old. So we're going to make this lovely soap for Em. We're going to make a batch of just over uh, 500 grams. And the reason I've done that is I had the I had a certain amount of breast milk that she'd already given me um, in a container. So I had uh, frozen it and we're going to do everything else. So like I said, we're going to give you the recipe, but let's get going. The first thing we need to do with this is we want to melt down this oil. And once I melt down the oil, I'm just going to put it in a double boil. I'll bring you back and then we'll get going with the lye content of this as well. So we are actually at my stove and here you can see it is melting down. It's just on a double boil. So basically that's all we're going to do. Just put a little bit of water in your pan and um, then sit the jug or, you know, whatever container you're going to use on top. Make sure it's heat proof, of course. We're just going to slowly melt this down. Don't do it super high. I just put it on the lowest uh, heat. And um, once this is ready, we'll take it off, let it cool down a little bit, and then we'll get going with the lye. So now, as you can see in the background, we have all of our oils melted down. And what I'm doing now is kidding up for uh, to get ready to do the lye. So here I have my beautiful long gloves. These ones almost come to my elbows. And I was really excited when I found these. I actually found these at TK Maxx. Um, I'm always in there. And then these are reusable ones. So I thought, isn't this a good idea rather than just using so many gloves? Obviously, you need your glasses. I'm going to go and put those on as well. And then we're going to get ready. Now, as I did say, I am going to tell you everything that I've um, done in this recipe. So let's get going. So in front of us here, we have this. Let me just move the camera. We have this gorgeous little bowl. So make sure your bowl is heat safe because we're going to be adding in lye. So now for this recipe, because of the amount of breast milk I had um, from my daughter, Emily. So in here, this recipe is going to be 575 grams, which is perfect. Um, it's just perfect for someone. Now I have a fridge that is dedicated only to the products that I use. So there's nothing else um, in the fridge except for this. But if you're working from home, you know, you need to do something like this, just write in what it is and write the person's name and the amount of grams so that you know. So that's the container I've used. Because I've used that for this breast milk, that will either be disposed or you need to wash it because do remember that breast milk is a body fluid. So you can't go selling this to someone else. This is for personal use only. And as I said, this is for my daughter. So in here, like I said, we're doing the breast milk in here, which is 140 grams we've got in there. Now, next, what we actually need is 78.9 grams of lye, which is sodium hydroxide. I've measured it up already in here. And then, of course, what we want to do is we want to mix it. So I'm just going to get a different spatula to this oil here so that we can mix it all up. So I've got my spatula. So all we're going to do is very slowly just put a little bit of lye on. Make sure your windows are open and things like that. Um, 
because you know this can actually give sort of a, a chemical smell and obviously we don't want that and now the great thing about freezing the breast milk as i've done here is it's not going to scorch the milk and also it's going to leave as little chemical smell as possible and that's definitely what we want um, when we're making something like this another thing you could do is you could actually use a 50 50 lye water solution and then your extra liquid could be the breast milk that you're putting in now if you want to know a little bit more about 50 50 lye which i love that whole process um, i actually learned quite a lot from muddy mint um, so if you go over to their channel you will learn a lot and I know that they've just bought a book out and um, I'm sure that book is going to be super helpful for all these things that soap makers want to know so um, you know and I don't know them personally I just watch them on YouTube but their channel is very good and really really informative so um, yeah so anyway like I said if you want to learn a bit more about um, the 50-50 lie, because I don't have any videos on that, um, definitely ask them. And um, that's where I actually learned to do it. So if you're making, um, you know, soap in bulk, you probably want to start to think about things like that. And um, we're just going to put the last little bit in here. And of course, having gloves is uh, and glasses is a must when you're making soap. If you've made soap before and you didn't use those safety things and you forgot, it's okay, but just make sure next time that you think about yourself, otherwise you can easily burn yourself. So all we're going to do is slowly just mix in this. You know, you want to mix it in super well and it's not going to get as hot as it would if it was just water and not frozen because obviously when it's frozen, it's much colder and so on. But the main thing is making sure that every bit of lye is 100% blended and mixed in. We don't want any lye left over. Now you could even do this and basically do, you know, 100% olive oil if that's what you want to do and give it a long cure time. But for me, I haven't. My daughter actually likes the soap that I make, my normal recipe. I changed this recipe a tiny bit, but I'll give you the recipe as we go along and I'll give you some percentages as well. So in the oils here, we do have um, 69 grams of avocado oil and I've used 12% um, in the recipe. We have 6% of castor oil and that adds up to 34.50 uh, grams of castor oil. And then I have my coconut oil in here as well. So um, the coconut oil is 132. Um, what is 132.25 grams which is 23 percent of coconut oil and i have used a five percent um super fat as well just in case you want to know uh so yeah so that's basically what we've done with this and then we've got some shea butter i've used 15 percent of shea butter to keep it gorgeous and um creamy which is let me tell you, I think it's 56 grams, but you can put all this back through soap calc just to double check. And then the olive oil, we have used 44%, which is uh, 253 grams. Now, you can see it's gone a yellow. That's just going to happen with breast milk. That's just the way it is, so don't worry about that. Um, but it's, you know, if you feel it, it, it's warm, but it's not super warm. Now, we literally want the oils and the breast milk to be a very similar temperature. So I'm just going to give this a little bit of time to calm down. And generally, I will try and soap at about 25 degrees, and that's Celsius. So it's really just room temperature, a bit warmer than room temperature. But, you know, I don't think there's any wrong or right. The only thing is if your lye is too cool, what can happen is it gives you a false trace and then you might make a mistake. Uh, so that's literally what we're going to do. I'm not going to be adding colors. I'm going to add a little bit of clay today because this is a natural soap for my daughter. We're not going to do that. But the only thing I am going to put in here in this little jar is I have some sodium lactate. And I'm just going to put that in this one here. It's only at 1%. Um, I think it's actually less than 1%. It's half a percent. And that's just going to help um, this soap come out of the mold easier that's really all it does it just helps it release from the silicon mold a little easier if you don't have that you could add half a teaspoon of salt 
in your lye and it will melt with the lye. That's also another way that it can sort of help you as we go along. So we're just going to wait for this, like I said, just to cool down a little bit. And then I'm going to bring you back and we're going to make the soap. All right, everyone, we are ready to make this. Let's get going. So in here, we've got our oils. They have come down to the right temperature. And now we are just going to add in our lye. It's super, super easy. Let's just pour it straight in. And of course, make sure you get all of it out uh, because this is the part that's going to make us an absolutely glorious soap. We'll mix that in so that this bit is totally mixed in to our recipe. So basically, it's all in here now. Now, all we're going to do is literally pop this in which is our stick blender. We need this to blend it all together to make soap. Now this one is not going to have a fragrance. So um, I'm just gonna move this to the side just a weeny bit. So yeah, no fragrance in this one, my loves, because it is natural. Now let's get going and let's blend it up. Now I'm just going to get a separate container because we are going to put a little bit of uh, pink clay in this one here and it's just going to go through the middle of our soap. So nothing too exciting inside here. This is less than a tablespoon and it's going to give a beautiful pink just running through the centre. So let's just blend this up. <laughs> Right, I'm thinking that's looking fairly good. And now we'll just give a tiny more blend to our other one, and then we're gonna pop it in the mold. So now we've got our mold here, everyone. Let's just add the main one in. So we're just literally going to pour this main one in here, and then I'm going to pour the other one through the middle just to add you know that nice color and um let's just get everything out because we don't want to leave any of this in here because this could be a beautiful soap for my daughter now the one thing i do have to say a bit of a disclaimer on this which i did explain it at the start um please don't use your own press milk uh to make soap for other customers so you definitely cannot do that um, you know, and personally, I would only ever make this kind of soap if my daughter asked me or family. I wouldn't actually make this for a customer. Um, you can if you like, um, but just check your country and what you're allowed to do. But as I said, this is for my daughter and, um, yeah, it's as simple as that. So we're just going to add in this at the top, which is going to have the nice clay in. And, um, and now this also does have, you know, some cleansing. It's like a normal soap. It's not for a baby. If you wanted to make baby soap, you could use the breast milk to make a baby soap. But obviously you would need to change the recipe because this has a cleansing property to be for adults um, and not for, you know, a child. So we would just add that in. And now I'm just going to, you know, give it a bit of a, a swirl just with this. Nothing exciting because, as I said, this is my daughter. I just added the colour in for a bit of beautiful interest. Uh, I know that she will, she will think that's very cute that I've gone to the effort to, you know, add in a bit of a colour. So we'll just make this as neat as we can. I will put a pretty top on it for her as well. And um, when my daughter actually did have her baby, so for the baby shower, I actually made soap and gave, made baby soap and gave that away. 
um, and everyone seemed to really love it. So people love a natural soap. So it's looking beautiful. So here it is. This is what it's looking like over the top. Of course, we're going to texture it. We'll leave it for a day and we'll take it out tomorrow or the next day. So here is the soap. I know it's on a bit of a strange angle, but we kind of want to just give it a, a pretty top, don't we? So I'm literally just going to give it a little top. Now, because it does not have fragrance oil in this, um, that's why it's not setting up um, super duper fast. And, um, you know, if I put some sort of fragrance or something in it would, but I just decided not to and leave it at its natural best. So I'm just going to do a very, very small, um, as I said, you know, sort of pattern on the top just to make it look a little bit pretty for Emily. So now it is pretty much done. I'm one of these people that always seems to play around with the soap and I always tell myself, stop, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's very hard. Now I'm not gonna put anything on the top of this because Emily just wanted it as a plain soap just so that she could have the beauty of the breast milk soap and she really wanted to try it out. So like I said, we're going to leave this now. I'll just leave this on the bench for a day. I never put mine through an oven or anything else. Um, I don't really mind if they gel or not. And uh, look, it's only ever been a couple soaps that I've had a gel ring, but generally, no, I don't seem to have that. So um, anyway, that's something, that's just what I do for mine. So like I said, we're going to leave this. I will show you when we pull it out and cut it up so that you can see how gorgeous it is. Good morning, my loves. It is the next day. I did unmold this last night. I kind of ruined it, <laughs> let's be honest. And um, I actually, the bottom of it and the ends of it were not perfect because I just took it out too early, if you can kind of see. But uh, my daughter's not going to mind. So anyway, silly me, you know, I just never listen to myself. I always want to take it out. And I know soap makers are going to understand that because the weight is the hardest bit. But anyway, let's just cut this. I'm going to just cut this in, uh, I think it's like 1.5 centimetres, something like that. I decided that was probably a good cut. And oh my goodness, look how cute that is. Doesn't that swirl look nice? And that swirl is just not with colour, it's just with pink clay. So um, I know my daughter Em is going to love these. Obviously, they need to sit and cure. But um, this is as easy as it is to make breast milk soap isn't it exciting uh so you know if you're a breastfeeding mom maybe you want to just save some of that breast milk um and um you know you can make yourself some beautiful milk as i did say throughout the video uh you cannot sell you know breast milk to another person but you could make it for your sister or something like that or yourself if um you know, if it's their breast milk or your breast milk, use it for yourself, only whoever's breast milk it is. But anyway, isn't that gorgeous? And I, like I said, I did add the top to make the top a little bit um, cute. So I'm going to just keep cutting this if you want to watch, and then we're going to just pop it over onto a tray. Now, like I said, we're going to keep cutting this, and you know, I actually had my doubts about this, you know, not about making the soap because I thought it would just be normal soap, but I had my doubts about doing a video because I thought, oh, I wonder whether it will be taken the wrong way um, and I don't want people to think that they can just go and make, you know, this kind of soap for anybody because, like I said, it, it's not for anybody. It would only be for yourself. So I don't know. It's always those tricky things when you're doing a YouTube video. Like you just don't want people to misunderstand, um, you know, what they actually need to do. And I've just got to tighten up this a bit because I've noticed it's catching a tiny bit. And that's the thing with cutters, friends. You need to actually make sure everything keeps being tightened because when you move it, it gets less tightened. Now, I really do love these. I really do love the pattern. I think it looks quite pretty. Um, and then that's just kind of the top. We just did an easy top. But it looks really nice. And um, I do feel like the measurements of the Shea, the avocado and so on, is a really good mix in this one. I really do. Um, so if you're looking for a recipe, and of course, instead of using breast milk, you could use coconut milk or water or whatever instead. Um, but... 
you know, um, it is a good mix of um, products. Doesn't that look darling? All right, we are done, my friends. I will get cutting up the rest of this and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and if you want to join me over on Patreon, I will put the recipe over there for the rest of my lovely friends um, over there on Patreon. See you next time. Bye, friends.